Ah, good Monday to you, whatever time it is in the world that you are getting to see this from These Are The Times. You know, I saw a video the other day and I couldn't sympathize with the woman. They with me. Here's why it was hard for me to find sympathy. I hear so many people using the phrase, but I don't have a choice. Especially when it comes to the vax, but I don't have a choice. My job requires it. I don't have a choice. That is a lie that we continue to believe and tell ourselves because in everything, you have a choice. I wanna ask you this question. How many of you all realized that the year 2020 was the year to sit down and take an account and balance out your life. It was a time to weigh out true, pure need versus pure, adulterated want. How many of you all realize that that's what 2020 was about? It was time to get houses in order. Some of you all did this without fail. You took the time that the world gave you and you said, you know what? This I need, but I don't need it to cost X amount of dollars because I can get it at this, where this is just a want. It can go bye-bye. But some of you all fought the growth spurt and you're still fighting it. And I know you're still fighting it because I hear you say things like, I need this job. I have to take the vaccine and it leaves me no choice. So I ask you this, how much money have you allowed yourself to be deceived that you need, need for your life to run? How much of the lie did you buy into that now has you clinging to these things that you feel you need to survive? You always have a choice. And I already know what some of you are sitting there in the background saying. I'm not you. I don't I don't sing. I can't go do this. No, you're not me. You are you, which is even better because you have other gifts and talents that could provide you an income. There's jobs out there that you don't need the vaccine. But you've told yourself, you've allowed yourself to buy into the deceit that you need all of these things to survive. So yeah, I guess you don't have a choice. I guess you do have to get up and go to that job. But see, you do have a choice. It all revolves around how much time you're going to take to sit down and truly weigh out what do I need and what is this that I just want. You'll be amazed at how much would fall off of you if you would sit down and take those things truly into account. It's all about the mindset. Everything starts as a seed. So what narrative are you gonna keep telling yourself? What do you truly need? Because if you keep telling yourself that you need these two, three, four thousand dollar watches, shoes, and everything else, then yes, you need to take the vaccine because you need your job. Understand, there are jobs out there that don't require you selling your soul. It just requires you putting action into finding them. There are gifts and talents within each and every one of you that need to be nurtured and brought forth that could potentially provide you with one amazing living. One where you make the rules, but again, it requires action. 
just as some of you went to school to be doctors, lawyers, and nurses, and now your job is telling you, I, you have to do this, that, or the other. You have to take this jab, whether you personally want to or not, if you want your job. Well, guess what? You put time in and train for those. Put some time in and train for something that's actually going to benefit you. 360, heart, mind, body, and soul. Then you do have a choice. So I would really love to hear the verbiage change. That is my challenge to you today on this Food for Thought. I challenge you to sit down and weigh out your true needs versus your true wants. Then I wonder if you'll feel like you have a choice with these jobs 